Bitcoin. Your time is coming and it's literally right here. Why? The quote-unquote future of finance. What's what's happening here, guys? Again, we are the only community on planet Earth to talk about how Bitcoin's demise is on the horizon, guys, right? Even though a lot of people are cheering for Bitcoin to rise. But wait a moment. Electricity usage for, from Bitcoin mining operations in the NACES represents 0.6% to 2.3% to, to, to of all the country's demand in 2023. That's insane, guys, right? In America, all the demand in America, Bitcoin mining operations took about a few percentage of that, guys, right? Of the whole 100% pie, which is insanity. And you know which, what, what, which coin fixes this, right? XRP fixes this. This is why XRP will literally take Bitcoin's soul, guys, right? And it will not return. XRP will take its number one spot. Look at all the narrative that's, narratives attacking um, Bitcoin but supporting XRP. But someone, uh, someone down here says that's equivalent to about six million homes, guys. I'm not how I'm not sure how the conversion rate goes about, but the government doesn't like the sound of that, now do they? Exactly. So someone asks if Bitcoin will go down, down, down because of uh, government. Why is BlackRock accumulating like a crazy boy? Well, we actually got everything covered, guys. I'm not even joking. This is insane, right? Uh, front page of Wall Street Journal today. The narrative has changed. Get ready, guys. So why do they want everyone buying Bitcoin, everyone buying these cryptos? Well, they say, right, it's, it's, it's literally in plain sight. I don't know how people don't see it, but financial giants race to lure investors into cryptocurrencies. Who else has stated that specific word from the beginning of time? We did on this damn channel. Lure, guys, right? They want to manipulate you into buying Bitcoin, right? I don't care, though. If, if that's what they have to do to pump these markets, guys, then let them. Why? Because after that point, when everyone is in, the rug will be pulled. And that's when here we go will begin. It's so crazy because even Larry Fink says over down here, he praised Tether Holdings, guys. The firm behind the widely used stablecoin Tether holding a dollar in the token is amazing, right? But remember, in 2021, Tether's creators reached a $41 million settlement with United States regulators over alleged, um, allegations that they misled investors about whether the coin was fully backed by dollars. Tether didn't admit wrongdoing exactly. Do they even have the funds, guys, right? This is all a mechanism to lure everyone in. They're literally saying in plain sight, right? But if they want to pump the markets, let them, guys, because at the end, we know what happens, right? Black Swan possibly up a collapse. No one else is saying this, guys. We're, we're the only community on planet Earth talking about how, yes, they're going to make Bitcoin's price propped up, guys, right, to higher prices, unimaginable numbers, guys, but there's a reason for that. I'm buying Bitcoin literally at 1 to 3K. Can it get there? Who knows? But I have a faith. I have some type of belief, possibly, guys, in the future someday, right? Now, the reason is because they're going to attack Bitcoin. Why? Of an energy crisis on the horizon, right? There's so many, there's so many, there's so many cri different crises, guys. Um, that could occur in the future, and I'm guessing an energy crisis will occur, guys. We were right, but they were wrong. Why? Rest in peace to proof of work. Biden has declared a federal emergency because Bitcoin is winning, guys. This is insane. It's over. The governments are about to attack a Bitcoin like never before, guys, as you guys can see right here. So they talk about um, cryptocurrency mining facilities, right? Be processed as an emergency uh, revision request. And then down here, they say, as evidence, the price of Bitcoin has increased roughly 50% in the last three months and higher prices incentivize more crypto mining activity, which in turn increases electricity consumption there we go it is game over at the time of this writing much of the central united states is a grip of a is the grip of a major cold snap that has resulted in high electricity demand right increased crypto mining and stressed electricity systems create heightened uncertainty in electric uh, electric power markets now remember we're talking about blackouts in the future and all sorts of stuff guys right what's going to be happening with bitcoin at that point in time Exactly. Good luck because it's going down, guys. But I don't hate Bitcoin. People think I do. I don't really hate it because when it does go down to like minus 99%, guys, that's when I'm going to buy Bitcoin. But remember, imagine seeing a red candle that goes down that low, right, to 3K or 1K, guys. 
that's going to be the scariest thing ever. And when that implodes, everything else will implode with it. But buying at that moment will be super scary. Why? Because everyone is running, running towards a hill, guys. Right? So, but that's but that's the game. It's all about your psychology. In the top, uh, at the top of the market, you want to be bearish, but at the bottom, you want to be what's guys bullish because everyone else is scared. Not financial vice. So, I mean, look at this. They're, they're literally attacking Bitcoin here. Even Chris Larson, right, pro prophesized it, guys, because look at this. Chris Larson, one of the co-founders of the crypto payments company Ripple has devoted a reported $5 million of his personal fortune to a public campaign seemingly aimed at making Bitcoin greener, right? To make a transition away from proof of work to a proof of stake system that uses much less energy. That's going to destroy Bitcoin, guys, right, in the short term. Maybe long term, it's going to, it's, no, it's definitely, Bitcoin will definitely come back up again. But I guess they'll first have to ritualize it, guys, right? Make it collapse, make everyone go broke. Imagine that day, though. That would be insane. And when we talk about Bitcoin, it obviously ties into Tether, right? It's like it's like a burger, guys, right? Now it, it all it all comes together. Why? The truth is finally coming out. How many times did we discuss this under the radar? If you have done your research, then you know Tether's role is the bad bank for Ethereum and Bitcoin, designed to stabilize the illusion of perceived value along with the nascent bond market. According to JP Morgan, look at this, guys. What did they say? According to JP Morgan, the expansion of USDT Tether market share among stablecoins would be a risk for the cryptocurrency market. As you guys can see, JP Morgan, the Tether stablecoin worries the entire crypto market, guys. Exactly. Right? When one implodes, the other goes with it, guys. Right? So this is all coming together. No one else is saying this. Or we say it literally years ago, guys, right? Time is coming, guys. Time. The Grim Reaper is marching forward every single day. Now, USDT is now surpassed or close to surpassing the market cap of 100 billion dollars guys for the first time ever for a single stable coin which means what it already has control of the whole market guys right but jp morgan is worried about that though about tether and uct right because it, it lacks tr uh, transparency or regulatory compliance guys right again that's the issue here why can't tether just make an audit guys right by a legit third firm um and see what's happening with their reserves and everything guys but they won't that's the issue here guys right so let us prepare because when one goes down everything will go down with it guys the hypothesis that the stable coins could be subject to increased regulation both in the nacs and in europe where partial implementation of Miko will begin in june right it's going to get worse and worse for them guys because they will have to become more transparent right but at the same time though Tether, Tether is beautiful because there's a reason why Bitcoin is at this price right now at 40 something thousand because of Tether, right? So it's like a double-edged sword. I'm guessing they want to pump everything before, they want to lure everyone before they collapse and implode the market. So we have a lot to talk about this besides that, guys. Now, onto the Ripple versus SEC case. Again, a lot of bad narratives with Tether, Rip, um, Bitcoin, and all these other crypto companies and crypto coins, crypto tokens, but with Ripple and XRP, it seems like we're good to go from attorney Jeremy. I didn't really comment on this motion because, well, it was a little boring. So supposedly, Judge Netburn has granted the SEC's motion to compel in its entirety, guys. Wow. And this basically just means that no big deal. Institutional sales already declared a security, right? Which we have known from a while. I'm not even up to the up to date with this case, guys. But now there seems to be an update because SEC is merely looking to escalate their settlement figure, right? SEC is still a rogue agency, guys. So they want they want what's it called, um, money from Ripple, right? In terms of possibly settlements, guys, on the horizon on the 12th is very important because the court has set a February 12th, 2024 deadline to complete such discovery, guys. There you guys go. Right, that's fascinating. Again, the 12th. Very important. Then 13th CPI. Then 14th AMM. What are the chances, guys? I, I I'm not in a long, but I may have to get back into one, guys. Right? I shouldn't have put my stop loss high, because I, I I did, guys. I should put it just below, but it's fine. 
So in layman terms, this is what it means. In the legal dispute between the SEC and Ripple Labs, the court has ordered Ripple to provide 2022 to 2023 financial statements, post complaint contracts, and details on XRP sales after the complaint was filed, and then to determine appropriate penalties, guys. There you guys go, right? So they're they're probably going to come with some type of agreement, guys. Again, maybe April, we'll see um, the conclusion, if not sooner, right? Either or, this was going to happen, guys. Just slap on the on the wrist, guys, right? Pay, pay a fine, and then move on. Isn't that crazy? There, there, there's a case ongoing, but they have an, um, a note on the XRP ledger supporting the XRP L. What? Now, that's funny because outside the United States, guys, no one gives a S about the SEC lawsuit, right? Saudi's UAE roll out red carpet for crypto as the United States gives a cold shoulder. Then we see in Saudi Arabia, the emphasis on crypto is part of the country's Saudi vision 2030, right? being a main player guys what's interesting is we see ripples on demand liquidity platform saudi arabia announced the country will launch ripples on demand on demand liquidity platform guys right in an effort to make international payments easier there you guys go that's funny well we see right here this person says that um he said they're using xrp all across the persian gulf and I said, tell me where. He said, you see it on cell phone bills. You see it on water bills. You see it on electricity bills. Wait, you, they're already using XRP over there, guys? That's insane, right? Maybe to a very small um, standard, to, to a very small um, degree, but they're still using it, right, as a test run. I said, okay, so the utilities. He said, yes. That was the initial introduction. He said, it's several monarchies in the Gulf. And I said, how about for contract and business? He said, yes, that has begun a few months ago. And I said, tell me if this is a typical kind of example. There's a construction site. There's a lot of different construction suppliers. And the cement supplier bills like hundreds of thousands of dollars in XRP. He said, yes, they've begun to do that. Individual contractors are billing with XRP payment in XRP. I said, okay, so this is a trial. And I said, and UAE is behind this. They're the ringleader. They're the manager. They're the, the band leader. They're in charge of setting it up, trying it out, requesting it. Researching it, he said yes. I said I heard they spent two hundred and thirty million dollars setting up the digital architecture for the Gulf payment system. He said yes. UAE, interesting, right? Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse House was a keynote speaker of the Dubai FinTech Summit 2023, and took the main stage alongside other global thought leaders, guys, right? And this will be continued to 2024. Very fascinating. And now I've been seeing a lot of tweets about you're going to see us placing other bets. We haven't gotten the traction we wanted from just from payments. Now there has been a lot a lot of talks about David Schwartz talking about how they're moving away possibly or pivoting right to different um I don't know NFTs and, and different um categories of the blockchain sphere guys, but definitely they definitely are still looking towards payments, right? And they haven't failed. I don't know why there's a lot of fun about this guys, because remember, there's literally an ongoing case as well right are banks going to use xrp to move anything no when there's still a cloud above ripple right even though it may be a smaller one xrp is declared not as not a security at all as well but there's still a cloud up there guys right the banks want to be clear 100 percent before they do anything hey david Schurz, you said ripple wasn't as successful with payments as expected our primary product of odl grew 800 percent quarter over quarter just like quarter two one to two one odl volume has grew 800 percent from quarter one to quarter one as incumbents like city it is growing, guys, right? But then he says, XRPL was built for and is great at payments, but I don't think anyone is satisfied with the current level of adoption. Why? Because there is no problem, right? Whenever that problem strikes for the world and there needs to be a solution, guys, that's when everything changes. That's what the Riddler stuff stated from the beginning of time. Not on each voice, and XRP cannot be at a low price. It has to be higher for better payments, right? To make better, to make payments better, guys. So there we go. Not on each voice. Let's see what happens in the future. What is that surface business? See ya.